Welcome everybody to week number two of EDFC 459 and I'm going to give you a very quick uh, recap of week number one just so we know where we all are and then I'm going to introduce you to what we're doing in week number two and just going to give you some uh, hints as to how you can manage your workload over the next week. So in week number one uh, it was really a time for you to uh, jump in with both feet into the online environment and uh, try and you know allay some of those fears that you may have had about uh, having to having to study a unit online, and also to engage with the Jilly Salmon um, model of, of e-learning, and also to engage with each other. And it's been fantastic actually reading your messages that you've been posting because I can see that there are people who um, have had a certain amount of trepidation about the unit, uh, and that they can see that with the scaffolding and with the the um, the advice that Jilly Salmon gives us and also the support that you're getting from each other, it's actually not going to be such an onerous task. Um, a lot of you have mentioned self-direction, and this is absolutely fantastic because an online unit is basically about self-direction. I will try my best to um, keep you going and to uh, remind you when there are things that need to be done. Um, but I also need to um, have self-direction as well. So, uh, you know, we're all in exactly the same boat. Um, but from the from the onset, or rather from the outset, what I want you to uh, remember is that um, you know occasions on occasion you will falter, and that's not a, a big bad mistake. Um, as long as you pick yourself up and you dust yourself down and you, and you continue, and understand that there isn't a single part about this unit that is about trying to trip you up or make your life difficult. Okay, this is a um, it's a sort of open ended unit. We have twelve weeks to explore learning spaces. By no means are you going to know everything about learning spaces in those twelve weeks. Um, so it's about giving yourself the tools to really extend that sustainable practice of, of, of learning and um, becoming a, an educator who really um, knows their way around the world of, of ICT and is able to continue finding their way around um, the world of ICT. So I think you're all doing a fantastic job. Um, as I've said in the, the written introduction, um, you know, every single one of you that emailed me to say that you were ready to start the unit has met and surpass stage one of Jilly Salmon's model. We're now well into stage two. Um, and it's not that you need to get to stage five by week five, because you won't. Um, you know, it's all about being very circumspect and taking this in a very considered way um, and realizing that, that each step um, is a success. Okay, so congratulations on that. Okay, week number two, we're gonna be looking at um, starting assignment number three. Sounds a bit strange, um, but we're certainly gonna be looking at personal learning networks or PLNs and what they mean to us as educators and how they can help us in our teaching um, and indeed our learning. And uh, the reason why we're starting now is because by the time we get to week 12 and it's time to submit that assignment, I want everybody to be um, engaged in the intricacies of blogging rather than um, just be at that stage of trying to keep the head above the, above the water. Okay, so we're giving ourselves as much time as we can um, to really explore what's going on. Okay. The um, week number two, by the time you see this, would have been enabled. Um, you would have noticed I've got all my other weeks appearing, but that's because I have um, lecture access. So when you click on to week number two, um, you'll see that there's a fairly significant amount of content and resources in there. Do not be overwhelmed by it, step by step, okay? Um, but I'm just going to take you through how it's actually set up. So here you've got um, just some written uh, a written introduction, and by the time you see this, um, this video that I'm recording now will be um, just above the readings tab, and I want you to um, listen to that first. We then have our readings for the week, and you'll notice I've put here that core texts are required, advanced texts are recommended, and additional texts are further reading for those of you who are really interested in a particular subject matter. We've got two core texts, what is a PLN and what is a blog. Uh, so, sorry, the two, um, yeah, two core texts. Um, we then have our third one here, which is um, a reading about your digital footprint or your digital tattoo. Um, and um, the first two are very self-explanatory. The third one, so Cortex T2C, is about giving you an understanding that um, it's up to you how you control your online environment. Okay, so if you want it to be safe, you need to ensure that you're, you're keeping it safe. But that's easy enough to do. Um, we then have an advanced text, which if you would like to, I'd like you to read, um, and that's um, a little bit more about connecting the PLN or, or the e-learning the e environment with, with your own practice. Um, and then we have um, an additional practice, additional reading, which is talking about communities of practice. 
Some of you already know about communities of practice if you're in my art unit or creativity and imagination last semester, um, and we'll be exploring these later on. And, and you'll see that as we create our personal learning networks, you're actually creating um, or becoming part of a community of practice. Um, and their communities of practice are really powerful in education, so I'm really excited about talking about those and, and working on them. Um, you've then got uh, your resources, so you've got some examples of PLNs, you've got um, a link to lynda.com which is um, a, a resource that ACU subscribes to, uh, and this is particularly relevant for this next bit here. So if you, when you come to create your PLN, I've given you two different options. You can either go straight into WordPress by yourself and create one, which would be fantastic, and lynda.com will talk you through that. Or you can use this one here that I've called Creating Your PLN Using Student Blogs, um, which is a series of videos I've developed, and that's using the student blog system in ACU. Um, I prefer you to use the WordPress one, um, because it means that when you leave the unit, you can still use it. Uh, the student blogs system is actually gonna be shut down, shut down at the end of the year, so um, it would be problematic to use that. However, I will explain this in greater depth during the Adobe Connect session on Tuesday evening. And then there's a PLN list Google Doc, which is um, part of a task that you're going to be doing um, for week number two. So we've got our readings. Take your time with them. Um, for the first two, I've posed a few little questions, um, and that will be they will then become um, the first content that you put onto your PLN later on in the week. Uh, you've got your um, advanced and your additional texts if you want to read them. I would like you to. Uh, you then have um, your resources, so you've got examples of PLNs, you've got access to um, video tutorials, details about how to create your PLN using WordPress, and um, creating your PLN using student blogs if you wish to, uh, and then your PLN um, Google Doc. The Google Doc is actually um, sort of it's like a, a um, killing two birds with one stone. You're developing a resource because you're going to be putting PLN details in there, and you're also going to be introduced to the wonderful world of Google Docs, which is a fantastic um, uh, IT or ICT resource. Uh, we then have um, discussion forums. So one of the tasks in eTivity number two is to go into this discussion forum here, which is what is Web2 and why is it a learning space? Um, and each of you are able to create a new discussion, and I'd like you to do that with your explanation about what Web2 is and why it's a learning space, okay? Because 90% um, of the ICT we're going to be using in this unit is Web2. We then have the usual respond to the text if you wish to, and then an open general um, discussion forum. Once the Adobe Connect session is uh, complete for the week, so the Adobe Connect session is on Tuesday between 7 and 8.30, so it's starting slightly later, um, the week two tasks and e-tivities will, um, will open up series of administrative tasks and also completing the PLN list, uh, making sure you post the discussion forum and further building you into stage two of the, of the Jilly Salmon um, e-learning model. So it does look like a fairly um, vast array of resources and readings, but as I said, take it bit by bit, take it slowly, okay? You've got the whole week to do it. I don't want people finishing you know, at half past eight on Monday morning, when it's released at eight o'clock on Monday morning, I want you to take your time. But in the same token, I don't want people finishing at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night, okay? There's no point in, in ignoring the unit for a whole week and then coming in at Sunday night and posting. You're not gonna be learning anything and you're actually not gonna be meeting the, the five-stage model. Um, you need to engage and you need to have time to reflect. And as many of you said in your, your wonderful posts over this week, you don't just write the first thing that comes to your mind. You need to be a little bit um, considered in what you're, you're writing, having had some time to reflect on it. But listen, I'm really pleased with where everybody's going, and um, the enthusiasm is great. Keep it up, and as we progress through the semester, you'll find that um, the, the weekly schedule will sort of be the same, so there'll be you know readings and resources and, and that kind of thing, um, but they will be ramped up a little bit in terms of uh, the challenge, okay? So I believe that learning should be a challenge, but never a struggle. Um, if you have any queries, got any difficulties, if you're feeling a bit anxious about it, just drop me a, an email and I'm happy to, um, to go through it with you and, and make sure that you're going to be fine. Okay, so all the best for week number two and I will be online Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday.